Hey, what's going on, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'm going to give my first thoughts and impressions on the ZTE Max XL. Now, I know, now I know when I unboxed this device, I said that I would be doing it in a couple of days. However, um, from now on, I want to use the phone for at least close to a week before I give my first thoughts and impressions. To really use it and really give you my real first thoughts and opinions instead of waiting a day or two and then just you know giving you uh, my opinions on the device. So that's why this took so long. Uh, I got this phone on Tuesday. It is now Saturday. And I have been using this phone non-stop to be honest with you. And I got to say it's a really good phone. And for $99 at BoostMobile.com. Uh, um is a really good deal i mean yeah it does you know not have you know the greatest specs in the world but you know when you you gotta you gotta look at this kind of stuff okay the more they add into a phone like more ram more rom more this more that the price is just gonna go up and up and up okay so whenever they can actually release a phone for 129 and immediately throw it on sale for ninety nine ninety nine, you know, for the phone that you're getting, I mean, you get you get a one point four gigahertz octa core four thirty five, which in my opinion is a little workhorse. Uh, it does everything and does everything smooth. I have no really no no major lag. Of course, you have the occasional lag here and there, but nothing serious at all. Uh, you know, it you know it's got two gigabytes of RAM and six sixteen gigabytes of onboard storage, which would have been nice to see thirty two gigabytes, but that's just the way it is. And the most disappointing part of this phone is you only get seven point six gigabytes uh, when the phone is actually you know activated, and that's your remaining storage. You can add an SD card to the phone, and you can use the SD card, format it as internal storage or adaptable storage, whichever one you want to call it. But the main thing, but the other disappointing thing is, is you cannot move apps to the SD card if you want uh, to use your SD card just as portable storage. So don't go in here and expect to be able to move apps to the SD card. If there is a way to do that, uh, without using using and using the SD card as internal storage, let me know in the comment section. Uh, it does run 7.1.1 um, nougat. Had to get my um, letters right there. It does have a 13 megapixel camera on the rear that takes some pretty good pictures. I I gotta say, it takes pretty good pictures. Um, it's got uh, it records in 1480, 720, and 480 has a number of features and I will get into all of that more in the full review um, but it takes pretty good camera uh, pretty good pictures videos are pretty good as well has a 5 megapixel camera on the front that also records in full 1080 720 and 480 and they take some pretty good shots as well as well as good video now this has a 3990 milliamp hour battery and uh, it does have USB type C now of course the battery is internal the back cannot be removed nothing like that uh, but I gotta say I'm very impressed with battery life I did post on Google Plus my first um, battery test and I will go in here right now and try to find it in my screenshots just give you an idea uh, if I can find it here on my first my first full charge uh, so let's go ahead in here and find it okay so actually um, from a hundred percent to five percent uh, I got one day in five hours so right at 29 30 hours that was still at five percent so it still had approximately an hour and 30 minutes left now that's of course if you don't do anything on the phone uh, but one day and five hours as far as the battery life goes and screen on time was six hours and 34 minutes uh, Pretty impressive for a six inch full 1080p display and that kind of shows that the Snapdragon 435 is not a power hog 
because I mean I have only charged this phone two to three times since I've had it since Tuesday and that's that's pretty impressive I mean the battery life has been great uh, you know it does not it, it lasts uh, it's not quite as good as the LGX power but it's very close so nothing to complain about with battery battery life is phenomenal so that's one thing that you can really bank on is good battery life and it charges pretty fast um, I've seen some charges take over two hours and I've seen charges take an hour and a half it just kind of really all depends so battery life is pretty impressive now I know this this phone does come uh, with LTE plus and I ran some speed test the other night that I'll be uploading soon showing you some LTE and LTE plus speed test uh, that I done with this device so stay tuned for that video coming up soon um, hit that little bell uh, beside the subscribe button to be notified when I do upload those kind of videos now I'll keep this as short as possible but I do really want to just get out my first thoughts and opinions on the phone and take my time doing it just to tell you what I really think about it uh, now it does have a fingerprint reader back here on the back uh, and at first I was kind of confused how to use it because it was telling me this, that, and the other, but I got it straightened out, figured out, and honestly, right now it's not set up at all. I don't got it set up, but it does work good. I've not had one issue uh, with it misreading. It reads just fine, and I've had no issues with the fingerprint reader on this thing. Um, this, like I said, the screen is 1480. And the screen is very, very clear, very vibrant, looks really good. As you look right here, uh, the the brightness is almost all the way down to the bottom. And in the house, I can see it just perfectly. Don't need no full brightness in here, nothing like that. Uh, all the apps work on this phone flawlessly. Um... No issues whatsoever using any social media. It works fine. Um, that processor really does a good job. I run some benchmark tests on it. Benchmark tests are pretty impressive, so I'm kind of good. I'm kind of glad about that. And you know, uh, now, now, what are some bads about it? Now, uh, there is more goods about it, and I'll get into all of that when I go into the, more of the full review. Um, well, first of all, I want to say the phone is heavy. The phone's big, the phone's heavy. When you go from this phone here to just say like the J3 Emerge, this phone feels like a little small toy compared to the uh, ZTE Max XL. This is just like a big old giant fabric type device that really I'm getting used to using. Um, it's just really comfortable in the hand and it's not, it don't feel extremely big. It just feels kind of heavy sometimes and when you're using it and you put it in your pocket you can really feel it um so I got a little pop up there uh so what are some negatives about the phone uh first thing i want to make mention of is the rear speaker now as most of y'all know i am not a fan of any phone that has a rear speaker uh, never have been, probably never will be. I'd have preferred it to be on the bottom or being somewhere else on the side, anywhere but the back. And I will say that the speaker is a bit tiny. It is not the best quality. Uh, speaker phone quality does sound decent uh, in quieter environments. However, if you're in a louder environment, it's not going to be the best in the world. Uh, ringers are really loud. I will say that normal ringers, if you download Zedge and you download like an actual ringer, not like a ringtone, but an actual ringer, it's really loud and notifications are extremely loud. I mean, I've been um, in very, very loud populated you know, areas and get a text message and it's just like clear as, clear as day. But when it comes to music or watching YouTube, a lot of times it's quiet. It's hard to hear it. Now, when you plug in headphones, it shines. This thing sounds phenomenally good. You got a good set of headphones or earbuds or whatever you may use. 
Uh, this thing sounds awesome with that Dolby um, sound system in this device. Uh, ZT is really good about that. But the rear speaker, it could have been better. It could have been placed on the bottom or the front or the side or somewhere other than the back. Uh, now, how is call quality? Call quality uh, is decent. It's not the greatest. It does sometimes sound a bit robotic and it does sound a bit muffled at times. Overall, though, it does sound decent enough to where it should not interfere, you know, you know, or be or be any kind of deal breaker. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, so far, that's really the only complaints I have with the phone. There's really no complaints with it. I mean, it works like it's supposed to. Uh, it works good. Uh, when I first got it, I thought it was de defective. It would not activate. Uh, whenever it go to the activation screen, it just kind of, it, it didn't loop like a power loop. It just kind of tried to activate, then back to the home screen. Tried to activate, back to the home screen. Then over and over and over again. And finally it did activate. However, if you know whenever you buy any Boost Mobile phone and you activate it and it's set up on your account, it will download the boost wallpaper, all the boost apps, you know, give you the boost, it'll give you the boost, the actual boost app that, it, you know, that it gives you. And the startup screen shows the boost mobile logo. I have not seen that yet on this phone. Uh, whenever I activated it, um, when it finally did activate, uh, I don't even have, I don't, I don't even have the actual visible, visual voicemails that boost gives you. On this device if anybody out there has this device and there's work like that let me know what's going on cause uh, mine just does not work like that for some reason or another it's just it does not it just whenever you power it on it says ZTE it shows Android and it goes to the home screen there is no boost mobile animations nothing like that uh, no boost wallpapers nothing Showing this even boost mobile except for you know Of course, you know when you're going to the set and stuff like that um, Reception now with it having LTE plus and it having that 2 by 20 carrier aggregation or whatever it's supposed to really help this thing get out better. I've not seen any increase in performance data voice quality uh, voice coverage with this phone whatsoever in my media area um, you know I've even dropped phone calls now it's not the phone's problem I know that boost told me that that sprint is updating the towers in my area they've been taking their own sweet time doing it that's a whole different but that's a whole but that's a whole different video um, but you know everywhere else i mean lte is connecting strong uh get really good download speeds really good upload speeds and the phone just works and for a hundred bucks you really can't beat it now i know it don't have you know i know that you know it's a step down from like the zte z max or zte z max pro whatever it's called Cause it don't, cause it has half the internal storage and stuff like that, and it don't have this or that, whatever. But you know, uh, a lot of phones, you know, you know, it, you know, depending on the carrier, they can charge what they want to charge for a phone. And you know, this one here's a hundred bucks. Now, if you went with double, double ROM and you added this and added that, you know, you can see the price going up. So I, I think it, I think they've done a good job with this phone. I believe it's well worth the money. Uh, if you can get it for a hundred bucks, I think it's well worth the money. Uh, it does work good, and I've not had one hiccup, not one issue with this device. It just works, and it works well. Runs seven point one point one nougat, and it does everything. Everything awesome. Now, one thing that I did see. On this device, if you can see it here at the right bottom, it says Wi-Fi calling right there. Now, I've never seen a Boost Mobile phone that had the Wi-Fi calling feature. However, when I go to it, it says it's not supported. So, maybe, hopefully, soon, Boost may you know, have Wi-Fi calling. 
So we can only hope that happens since coverage is really bad in my area. But um, really, first thoughts, um, I would give this phone a solid 9 to a 9.5 out of 10. And the reason why I don't give it a full 10 is because of the rear speaker is just kind of poor. Um, overall performance is kind of poor. Call quality could be better. It could be a bit clearer. Still not a deal breaker whatsoever. And the third reason is the uh, fact that you only get 7.6 gigabytes out of 16 uh, internal storage. So that's the only reason why I would not give it a full 10 out of 10. Other than that, the phone has been great, very easy to use, very reliable, great battery life. Cameras are good. Uh, it runs every app perfect. No, no sluggy, no sluggishness. It, it does not get hot. It does get warm, but does not get hot. Um, so overall, I'm I'm impressed with it, and I like the phone. I think it was a good purchase. So this is just my first thoughts on the eight on the uh, ZTE Max XL. Any questions or comments? Leave it down below in the comment section. If this was helpful in any way. Hit that like button. I was sure would, I sure would appreciate it. If you ain't subscribed yet? Hit that subscribe button. A little bell beside it to be notified for when I upload future content and reviews and all that cool stuff. So um, so yeah. Thanks for watching this video here. Hope it was a help. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.